What's up Mavericks, Chris Crone here, and today I got a special guest speaker in the house, two-time NBA champion, Norris Cole, and I'm gonna be interviewing this man on what you do when life knocks you down. How do you get up and how do you move from play to play? He's got deep experience with that. He's had huge accomplishments, but I think unlike many other people, he knows how to get back up and make it happen. Check it out. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. All right, what's up, guys? Like promised, legendary Norris Cole, Miami Heat, two-time NBA champion. What's up, bro? How you doing, brother? Dude, um, so I invited Norris. You know, Norris reached out to me because, you know, we got real estate going on. We're partnered up on some deals. Absolutely. But I said, dude, Norris, if we do this, man, you've got to come out to my event, my grand opening, my event center. And it's actually happening right now. Absolutely. And literally, Norris just got on the stage, came off the stage, and oh my gosh, that ring is so freaking big. Oh, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that was a, that was right there. That was a squirrel moment, folks. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, just came back from just like crushing. I'm like, dude, I'm so inspired. Will you do a video and share some of what you just laid down there? Because that was such a big deal. I want to share today about having a championship mentality and playing your role on a championship team. Chris is a champion in real estate. He crushes it. Over 4,000 deals. I'm a champion on the court and then in life. And so I thought it was great to be able to collaborate and be able to inspire others to be able to crush it in whatever their goals are. So when I was um, listening to you, I was just like, man, so one of the things that I love about getting in the minds of, of athletes, extreme athletes, people that just become the top of the game, best in the world, Absolutely. is I wanna know what drives you, but more importantly, like what do you do when you have experiences that knock you down? Because I mean, you're in one of the most ruthless industries, right? I Absolutely. Mean, everyone's getting cut and yanked and then deciding, you know, which team they're gonna play on and did you make the cut? And you know, bottom line is there's only so many teams. Only so many slots. And, and, and not only that, but I mean, that's been your career of learning. How do you psychologically manage letting go of what isn't working, letting go of disheartening or negative moments, and then rising back up to go at it again? Because my experience, Norris, is most people we're programmed to give something a go like three times, and after that, we're out. Absolutely. And, but you've probably been through this, I mean, countless times. Over and over again. So basically, my mindset right now and from the beginning is I always wanted to provide for my family. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the bottom line. That's at the end of the day, it, if all else fails, I have to be able to provide for my family and so myself. So you got a why. Like you have, I have a why. You have serious intention. Your family is your motivator. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And so what comes from that is the determination to never let anything stop me from being able to do that. And so I call it the next play mentality. That's what we call it in sports. And I'll, I'll explain it to you real quick. So in the sport of basketball, you play offense and defense. Once you score, you have to get back on defense. Once you get a stop or other teams score, you have to go back and score on offense. And so if I make a good play, I can't celebrate. I have to get back and play defense onto the next play. If I make a bad play on offense, I still have to get back and play defense. If a team scores on me, I still have to go back and try to score on them. If they don't score on me, I still have to go back and try so to score on them. So you're saying that, wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that no matter what life dishes at you, whether you would label it, you know, like this is a good thing, this is a bad thing. No matter what. You're always worried about what's my next play. See, I don't, I don't, Norris, I don't think most people do that. I think we're trained that when something bad happens, we put our life on hold and be like, stop, hit the brakes, man. And we're like... I gotta just sit here and replay this bad thing that went down and that's how you, myself down. And that's how you become unproductive and that's when you don't crush your goals. It's okay to have a moment, hmm. but you have to get over that moment quick because life doesn't stop. Yeah, but how do you do that, right? I mean, I think that some people will stop I their I'll tell life. You, I'll tell you how you do it. You train yourself to do it. No one was born great. Hmm. They had to go out and act it out. I can say I'm a great basketball player, but I have to go out on the court and display that. You can say you're a great realtor, you can say you're a great finance, you can say you're a great investor, but until you go out and invest millions of dollars, you're not actually great. So mentally, you have to tell yourself you're great, but then you have to apply it. And so you have to practice when you feel sad, not laying in the bed, but getting up and getting out and going out and being productive. When you do something great, hmm. not celebrating too much, but understanding what did you do to be great and then do it again? So what I hear you saying is that there's lessons that you learn. And by the way, if something doesn't go your way, you got to ask, why did that go down? If something goes great, you got to ask, why did that go down? Exactly. And either way, it's about learning. But what I'm hearing that's different is you learn and you go. Learn and you go. learn and you go instead of, um, how am I going to get myself out of bed in the morning? Can you give us like 
I'm kind of curious here, like when you get knocked down, how do you, how have you trained yourself or is there a ritual or something you do to get your get up and go back? Like, what do you do? Do you do something? Is it a I give, thought process? I'll give you an example. So the first time when I had to go to play overseas for Maccabi Tel Aviv, great organization in EuroLeague, by the way. Mm. But for me, it's like, man, I'm an NBA player. Yeah. And so a normal person might well feel sorry for themselves, right? Yeah. And at first, I was disappointed. But one, I always look at the bright side. I'm awake. Mm. I still have a job. All right, all right. <laughs> and then I'm going to play for free mm. in a country I've never been to. And so I always try to look at the bright side of things first mm. before I sulk and look at the negative part. Well, dude, I, I think that's all about really gratitude, right? Absolutely. And, I mean, there are some people that just, if you don't cultivate uh, the mindset to be able to look at your life and figure out what are you grateful for, what do you got going your way, what I hear you saying is like, got a job, I'm breathing, my heart's going. So obviously things, honestly, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. And do you think there's always a bright side in every situation? There is always a bright side. <laughs> but the bright side is not as um, scientific as you may think. It's simple. You're alive. Mm. As long as you're alive, and long as you're, you know, you're healthy mm. and can move and do things, yeah. you can always dig yourself out of it. And so, you know, my, my father told me something a long, long time ago. Um, we, we played at a tournament. He took me to a homeless shelter. I had never been to one before. Oh, wow. And so I was like, I don't want to go to the homeless shelter. I don't want to be around those people. And he told me the only difference between you and them is that you're a child and haven't made any major mistakes yet. You're one mistake away from being where they are. Wow. That's the only difference between me and them. What, how'd that impact you? One, I was never judgmental again ever in my life. I always realized as people. Dude, how old are you? People, I'm 30 years old. Dude, 30 years old 30 years and old. already learned this whole you know, beautiful thing in life that called no judgment. By the way, I got to tell you that when you and I spoke for the first time, and we're talking about real estate partnering, I'm like, I got a chance to work with a number of people now, a lot of high profile people, billionaires. Absolutely. Absolutely. And one of the things that I just really love and appreciate you is, I felt that from you, like you've just you've got a good heart, and even here at this event, you could just be sitting back seat, but dude, your front row just playing all out, just saying, Man. "What can I learn? What can I get out of this?" And I love I love that uh, that mindset, that energy about you, and you're approachable that way. It's awesome. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's the next play mentality. You next know, play mentality. I've won, I've won championships, but you know I can celebrate that when I'm done. Got to go on to the next play, dude. Guys, <laughs> check this out. It's called the next play mentality. Absolutely. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you credit. Absolutely. I'm going to be using that on stage. I'm going to tell you, dude, my buddy Norris Cole taught me it's the next play mentality next because play there's mentality. always a next play. Always. The plays never run out. The only question is what's your attitude? How do you go up against them? And then when it doesn't go your way, dude, focus on the next play after you get your lesson, right? Absolutely. Uh, that, is, that is some super powerful stuff. Thank you so much. So that. Um, I do want to ask one last thing. Uh, I've been harassing you about this because I always like to know before your game moment, everyone mm -hmm. who's becoming an expert in their space, they got this moment before they take the stage, before they take the court, Absolutely. what they do to actually get ready. And I want you to know that in, in some way, shape, or form, there's an expert inside of you that is weighing, waiting to do something where you can serve the world in more meaningful ways. And before you have your moment, there's something that you're going to be doing to prepare yourself. I know what I do to prepare to get on stage. I'm curious, what do you do before you take the court? So before I take the court, I put my headphones on. Okay. I get in a state of focus and meditation. Yes. And then I listen to the last, very last song before I go on the court. I don't, I don't listen to anything else after this. It's a, it's a motivational speech song called Beast Mode. Beast Mode. Beast Mode. Yeah. And it has a, the first line of the song is, are you going to be a lion or a sheep? Oof. And that sums it up. That, yeah, that sums up a lot. And so I'm a lion at the end of the day. I got to eat. <laughs> I, dude, I love I'm it. I'm a dude. lion. Dude. And so once I listen to that, All right. it's game time. So I love it. I mean, ultimately, getting ready in life is making a decision. If something doesn't go your way, you go into a space of gratitude is what I'm getting from you, and then you say, what's the lesson? And then you move on to the next play. Yes. Uh, dude, such powerful words of wisdom. You know, think how amazing it is that you and I have this opportunity to spend a few minutes with you and take everything you're learning in life and saying, What's some of the most potent? And you have delivered that up selflessly. Thank you so much, dude. Norris, if people want to be learning more about you, where do they go to find you on Instagram? What's your handle? They can find me at Norris Cole, the guy with the blue check mark. The guy with the blue certified check mark? Certified blue check mark, Norris Cole. And you can see all of my footage is from my foundation work, from uh, Team Cole AAU, from my day to day training. Um, basically, everything, if you want to find out from a professional aspect, just look on my IG. My Twitter handle is the same thing. 
Norris Cole, certified check mark. Norris Cole, dude, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank for the rest you. of you guys, go check this man out. He's a total superstar. For those of you who want to connect deeper, come out to the events that people like Norris, maybe he's coming out to the next one. Absolutely. Come join us for one of our exciting next four-day events. It's called Unleash Your Financial Destiny. You got details below. And as always, make sure you subscribe if you like what you watch in here, share it with other people, and we'll see you on tomorrow's video.